Hey YouTube, so I'll be showing you how to jailbreak any iDevice from iOS 6.0 through to iOS 6.1 and the jailbreak is untethered what you're going to have to do is download a utility called Evasion and this is from the Evaders um, thank you very much for making this tool if they do watch this um, so if you go onto their website you can see there's a Linux, Mac and Windows link um, just choose your operating system and from there you can download it Preferably extract the items onto your desktop where it's visible, like I've done here. Then you're going to want to um, open Evasion, which will be an application. Execute it, press yes. Right, now what you're going to have to do is connect your iDevice. Obviously I've got my iPhone 5 here, so you'll connect it via the USB cable. And it'll say if it's supported or not. And you can press jailbreak click of a button and it will start the process. I'm going to try and fit it all in and show you exactly how it is. Okay, it's going to restart the device. Okay, once it restarts, just make sure you don't touch the iPhone or whatever device you're jailbreaking. Um, the reason being, it's doing its own process, so you don't want to touch it. And just to clarify, this will work on the iPhone 3GS, iPhone 4, iPhone 4S and the iPhone 5. iPod Touch 3rd generation, 4th generation and 5th generation and the iPad models including the iPad mini just as long as they're on iOS 6 and when we say iOS 6.0 through to iOS 6.1 we mean that iOS 6.0.1 and iOS 6.0.2 are also included Okay, now this stage is really important. If I show you exactly what it says on my screen, it's to continue, please unlock your device and tap the new jailbreak icon. Only tap the, uh, it once, um, the screen will go black and return to the home screen. So we'll do exactly what it says. Okay, it should be on a second page. Sorry, I forgot to clarify to you guys that I am on iOS 6.1. And what you're going to have to do is click this new jailbreak. Okay, once you've tapped it once, it'll exit out. Don't worry. It's just doing its own process. And on the final stage, it's just going to reboot and then you'll be all done. Okay, jailbreak complete, the device may restart. Don't worry if it restarts more than once, it's perfectly normal. Okay, on this stage um, it should say jailbreak complete and the device may restart a few times, blah blah blah. Here you can press exit. Okay, that's all done. And now the rest of the process takes part on your iDevice. See the Evaders logo and the process it's going through. Just be patient.
I think patience is the most important thing when jailbreaking. Okay, now we're ready to go. So, I've still got my iPhone plugged in, but by all means, you can remove it. It's perfectly fine. What you're going to do is go into Cydia, and as, long, or as we all know, when we go into Cydia for the first time, prepare the file system, exit out, and then we'll have to open it again. So we'll let, we'll let it set up for the first time. Okay, now we have the respring, and now if we go back into Cydia, select who you are, user, and from there if I scroll down, and as you can see there, it is indeed on iOS 6.1. And that's all done, and that's been a tutorial on how to jailbreak any iDevice from iOS 6.0 through to iOS 6.1. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, leave any comments, like the video and share it if you can. Uh, and thank you for watching.